Excuse me, you're you're my seat. Am I? Actually, yes, you are. Are you one of those weirdo compulsives who come to the same restaurant, sit in the same chair, and eat the same food every day? Uh, no, no, no. I was sitting right there three minutes ago, and then I went outside to get myself a paper. I ordered a juice, and look, I made a crawling snake with a straw wrapper. You can finish it if you think you're up to the job. I'm sorry. You want me to move? Not anymore. So what's up? I don't have time to talk. But you haven't heard what I'm going to say. See, now we've already talked more than I wanted to. Well, I didn't give you my seat, you know. I think that gets me one question. Listen, diner guy. Sean. Sean, flattered, really. Very often, I am happy to meet new people, but today, right here, right now, I can't talk. I understand. I do. What if I do the talking for both of us? Have at it. Do you mind if I read the paper and stare aimlessly out the window while you two talk? No. Can I get a name to work with? Juliet. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Juliet. It's nice to meet you too, Sean. And I'm sorry about your seat. So, lunch is on me. So what do you do for a living? I do a little bit of everything. Oh, that sounds interesting. And maybe a little bit dangerous. Oh, I like your jacket. I like it. I like okay, it. can I stop you there? First off, in uh, your portrayal of me, I sound like I'm in the eighth grade. Well, in my portrayal of you, you only have an eighth grade education. <laughs> All right. Uh, smarten you up. Uh, college? Yeah? Top your class, graduate early. Got it. I'm new to town and I don't know many people. But I do know my cats. Two of them. The gray one is very affectionate. The white one makes me work much, much harder for the attention. And what about your family? My family is amazing. My parents have been together for, what is it, 30 years now? Okay, do we know each other? Yes, you were the girl who stole my seat. Oh my gosh, you're a cop. I'm not a cop. The paper, the vantage point, the layout, of course. You got defensive when a scary guy walked in. You're totally a cop. Okay, Sean, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. Name it. Duck. Please! Oh, hey, Jules. What are you doing here? I'm returning my equipment. What are you doing here? I'm just hanging, you know, chilling. I was actually feeling a little nostalgic. <laughs> Remember when we cracked that case here and the criminals turned out to be roller derby girls? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Gosh. Seems like it was just yesterday. Probably because it was yesterday. Why are you wearing skates? Oh, yeah, look at that. I guess I am. I don't know. Uh, I guess I just thought it was a shame that we have this big, beautiful track and no one to skate on it. It's also been a long while since I've had a good blister. Hmm. This will be a couple skate. Couples only. That on purpose? No. Maybe. Okay, yes. Yes, I did. No hands. Jules, what are you doing here? What I mean is, you know, who, who's gonna fit Mr. Yang with her straitjacket and iron mask with face grill? Something tells me there's an entire precinct of officers bidding on that job right now. Uh, can I interest you in a, uh, a Necco wafer? Sean, can you just not talk for a few seconds? Look, I just wanted to tell you that what you did today, I mean, I can't imagine being able to function at that level while your mom was, you know, I am, uh, Clearly not as good with words as you are. And um, I know that things between us have been a little complicated. And that there have probably been some mixed signals, mostly from me, 
with regards to the time that we spend together outside of the line of duty. Look, Jules, are you... Sh just, please just let me finish stumbling through this. I'm almost done, I promise. <sighs> what I'm saying is that I think maybe the best things, the richest things, aren't supposed to come easily. And that sometimes the moments that make the most sense happen when everything else doesn't. And, well, I think you deserve more than popcorn tonight. So why don't you let me take you to dinner? Detective O'Hara, are you asking me out on a date? I am. A proper one. Wow. <laughs> I cannot believe this. <clears throat> All this time, and <laughs> your timing is just awful. It is? Yeah, it's just dreadful. What? I can't go to dinner with you, Jules. I'm already on a date. You are? What, here? Yeah, right, right now. It's, it's weird, it's a little weird, but uh, yeah, with Abigail. The one that got away. Yeah. They, they say that uh, these these kind of trips are once in a lifetime experiences, and that they're even better when you have someone you care about to share them with, and you do. Take lots of pictures, not of sites. Don't take pictures of buildings. Take pictures of moments. That's what matters. Capture them here, and hold on to them here. At least that's what I would do. <laughs> I don't know, you, you, you might take blurry photos of, of your espresso at some random cafe. Hotel and Amalfi being all booked up. Oh yeah? Why's that? Because I just bought it. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, good luck with that, man. Gus and I ever make it out that way, we'll uh, look forward to stealing some towels. Can we not do this right now? It's okay. The way things are, it's okay. I just really need to sort this out on my own right now. Can I just say what I what I came here to say, please? I have a motorcycle. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. You know what? It is, it is the purest form of freedom that I have ever experienced. You zip through traffic, you park anywhere, you never have to take anyone to the airport. You certainly don't have to help anyone move. Easily the best purchase I've ever made in my life. And I have never regretted it, not for one second. Great. You love your motorcycle. Is there a point to this? Yeah, there's a point. The point is, since I met you, I've been thinking about getting a car. And you're not thinking something practical or God, no, I'm sensible. Not throwing in the towel altogether. <laughs>
What is your name? There is a murderer on the list. That is not your name. Sean Spencer. Truth. We're off to a good start. Where were you the night of the party? Let's see. Uh, let's talk with Gus. Played some video games. Yeah, we were talking a little Star Wars. Look, Lassie, we both know what this is about. This is about me and Julia. Answer only my questions, please. Yes, we're together. You hate it. I get it. Spencer. I, I, I can't help it, man. Spencer. I've been fighting this thing for years. It's, Spencer, it's not stop. just gonna go away. Stop! I'm just gonna have to deal with the fact that I love her, okay? If... Lassiter said you had a vision of Herb with Michael Damien, but you had this receipt. So you knew Herb would be there, right? with you was never part of the plan, okay? This whole thing started because my ass was on the line. Self-preservation, Jules, you gotta understand that. I didn't have a choice. And then, we sort of found a groove. And by the time you showed up, it was so much fun. <laughs> we put away like over a hundred criminals. Most of them were murderers. I'm good at what I do. And what I do... It's good. Isn't it? What are you talking about? Are you telling me this is all a lie? Please don't make me answer that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel so stupid. No, sweetheart. No, this... This is all me. <gasps> this is all me. Let me call you back. Dude, I've got huge news. Jules and I are back together again, officially. She made me work for it, but I came all the way back. She couldn't resist this forever. I hear that. I got good news, too. I think I got my face back. Check it out. What am I looking at? I'm seeing whimsical with a touch of constipation. This is gonna be so incredible. Uh -huh. Just like it was before, only bigger and better with more wineries. <sighs> Except for one thing. What? You. I made the biggest mistake of my life by leaving Santa Barbara without saying goodbye to Gus, and I am done cowering from the big decisions. I've wanted this for long enough. So what's gonna happen? Right now. Sean. What is... is this the time? You bet your ass it is. Juliet O'Hara, I do not believe in love at first sight. Because I didn't even need to see you to know that I wanted to spend forever with you. That didn't make a ton of sense, did it? The center of your universe, nine planets. Gus, has that Pluto line ever worked on anybody? 
No. I'm gonna get back in there. Scratch that. I have spent my whole life running from one thing to another. Quitting and running and quitting and running and pretending that my destiny was to drive a wienermobile. He was young and afraid of commitment. That's true, but I'm not that young anymore. And I'm also not afraid. Because when I'm with you, Jules, I'm just fearless and, and I'm unbreakable. Like Samuel L. Jackson. Now, Sam Jackson was the glass man. Not emotionally, Sean. Not emotionally. Okay, I need you to dial it back just, just a teeny bit. Oh, okay. I know that I come with baggage and a best friend who's not going anywhere ever. But I promise you that from this moment forward, the only running that I will be doing is into your arms. And I will never stop holding your cold little hands or losing myself when I wake up in the morning and look at you and recognize how freaking lucky I am. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's happening. Say yes. Yes. But, okay, but technically you just said yes to Gus. Well, ask me, Sean. Jules, will you marry us? Me, mostly okay. me. Even though Gus is always going to be part of the deal. Yeah. And that someday he'll have his own Juliet. And her name will be Julie, oh. And she'll be Jamaican. And together we'll be one big, giant, frosted, black and white cookie. And we're going to have dogs, all rescues, and kids, probably before we're 16. Oh, wait, wait, before 16. Oh, just marry me so that I can show you how amazing our life will be together. Yes. Yes, I will marry the crap out of you, Sean Spencer. Now give me the ring. It's technically stolen. Hold on. Went right. You went left. Let go of the wheel. You let go of the wheel. I have the gas. 